Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Daydreams. Welcome back to the channel for another Clash of Kings video. So, I wasn't planning on making a video tonight, but I heard that they actually have some of the stuff for Prestige 6 in beta right now. So, I got on the old beta castle that I haven't been on in a while, and we're going to check out this bullshit and see what it's all about. Um, you guys know I'm not a fan of this Prestige 6. We're trying to stop it with the hashtag Break the Wings. Guys, I'm not getting enough. We need 10 times as much uh people backing this as we do right now to make this work so you're gonna have to really talk to your alliance members talk to people in the game talk to your kingdom and tell them if they don't want changes made to this game if they think this game is fine then don't back the movement but they can't just sit there and like think that it's gonna work all they got to do is copy the hashtag and copy the the video link and send it to customer support you know if they if enough people if enough people do this and enough people share this on social media and in the game and we get a movement going then they're going to be forced to do another public response like they did with the make clash of kings great again movement the make clash of kings great again movement had two or three times the traction that this one has and this one's way bigger and it's way more desperate we're way more desperate now like we can't let this stuff um go without being balanced and of course we want some aesthetic changes too we're tired of the wings that's why we're doing break the wings but we want balancing changes as well the game's just way 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 too out of whack right now and it's not even fun to play anymore it's just it's just not fun uh so let's go ahead and see what we got to do here so to get a prestige six you need the market depot and wonder to prestige five so i'm guessing for the wonder i'm gonna need the market okay i gotta get the walls so oh my god my walls are still prestige are you kidding me so apparently you only need walls for prestige three all right let's just uh let's do this real quick guys so that way we can get the uh we'll see what this prestige six looks like here in beta now i don't even know if this is going to be what the actual castle looks like or not might be might not be but uh all right i'm gonna send a three but uh, at least we'll get an understanding of what you're going to need to get this done. So a lot of you that already uh, have badges, um, you probably already have the walls done because you were already preparing for this. So, you know, you'll have uh, you'll have a pretty good head start. If you're someone that doesn't have that done, this, might, this video might help some of you um, understand what you're going to need. So you can start upgrading this stuff so that way you get a little bit of a head start on some of the people who might not know uh, what you need. So the market... I believe the market the depot and the walls which is crazy because you know the market and the depot are the two buildings that are like you know the two of the more useless buildings in the game the depot definitely is very useless and the market is second most useless I mean I've got mine to like prestige two or three only so that way I could trade um, you can trade so many safe resources if you have it up to prestige uh, it's two or three I forget which one but yeah, they. I just found it funny that they chose the two most useless buildings uh, to have as requirements because those are going to be the ones that people probably don't got done. Now, I thought that you were going to need some other things to upgrade to upgrade um, the Prestige 6. But I think those, um, like the, uh, what were they called, the Knight's Heraldry and the Iron, whatever the Iron was, I think that's what you need for the troops. So... I'm thinking that the Prestige 6 might not even be that difficult. I can see a lot of people getting the Prestige 6, but getting those troops is going to be the one where I think you're going to have to you have to drop drop some change to to get that uh, the Prestige 6 troops done, and you're going to have to get a lot of uh, a lot of other stuff done. So, all right, this is going a little faster than I thought it would. We'll be we'll get that Prestige 6 up here in the next few minutes. Um, so guys we're gonna have to start i don't know i don't know if we're gonna have to do some what give me some ideas what we can do to to get this uh point across that we want some serious changes in the game because uh you know of course a lot of you guys especially you loyal, loyal uh little supporters you guys have been backing this i've been getting all your messages and uh seeing you guys posting it in your kingdom chat and stuff but this has to cross into the mainstream this has to cross into the average player who doesn't even doesn't even watch my videos doesn't even doesn't even have a YouTube account. We're gonna have to cross over into those people like your alliance members and your your kingdom kingdom members. It's gonna it's gonna have to cross into 
other languages too like we're gonna need people from um, other languages uh, supporting this as well I'll get a hold of seven extreme if you guys know any other uh, youtubers from you know other countries that can spread it to you know people that speak their language maybe we can get a hold of Tassaro and get him to get it into German um, you know uh, games he don't play Clash Kings anymore so we can't get a hold of him uh, if you guys know anybody else then then let me know we're gonna have to it's got to be a movement we got to get everybody on board here or else it's uh <clears throat> it's gonna fall on its face it's like what what time is it yeah it's 4 30 in the morning but when i heard that this was in here i was like all right well please tell me that my market's not level 16 son of a bitch <laughs> Alright guys, and we're back, and I'm starting the market at Prestige 3, so that way, because most of us who are, you know, Prestige Vibes already have our markets here, so that way we could do the safe resources, but, uh, it only took 250 for level 1, 25 times 10, and then maybe like, what, like 40 or something, uh, times 10, so probably like six, 700 badges for Prestige 1 and 2 market, and then you can see what it is for, um, Prestige 4 right here. So, you know, it it's not too expensive for the market. The embassy was a was a pain. Um, but the, the embassy, the depot, um, the market, you all need to have that prestige five because you need the level five embassy to get the level or prestige five market. Uh, and then you need the walls done so that way you can get the wonder done. So these are all things that you guys are gonna wanna, you know, get done. Hopefully when you're upgrading this and once it's into the game. It's a level 36 castle and everything's a lot more balanced if we can get you know if we can get that done guys I think we can we have the power and I don't I don't think a lot of people you know a lot, some people are just lazy but listen guys I don't want to hear any complaining if you didn't put your like put your effort into making a change in this you have no right to complain and bitch I see a lot of bitching and complaining all the time but I never see those same accounts you know messaging me like hey look uh, here's a screenshot of me uh, putting this video link and the hashtag break the wings in the comments and to customer support those are never the people that say those things it's always um, you know it's just complaining so here's what it costs 1700 badges so um, it's not really that bad uh, 17,000 badges I you know thought it'd be a lot worse um, but why is it saying bind account oh it does that when you're upgrading the castle i have no idea why it does that but can't bind a beta account i don't think <clears throat> there's no reason to anyway it's not like you're switching in and out of beta accounts although i do see people on beta running farms and stuff which is hilarious like why would you be wasting your time running farms and stuff on beta like that's just crazy like there's some people that really take beta seriously which is really bizarre to me because it's like a make-believe you know you got people on here that don't spend any money and uh, like me i've got 300 300 million power and i could probably make like you know 20 billion power um wait did we oh we're prestige six now okay i didn't even pay attention um does that look any different than prestige five um <clears throat> that just looks like a prestige five so they don't have the skins in for prestige six yet i don't think and I do not think they've got the stuff in for the troops. They just have the whatever this is. So I don't even know if that's going to. 
I don't even know if that's going to be what it really costs. I think it is for the Prestige 6. And I think the Knight's Heraldry and the Iron thing, the new Iron resource, is what you're going to need for the troops. So I think the troops are what's going to be really hard to get. So I hope that this at least is going to help some of you that are wanting to go to Prestige 6. And some of you that are even excited about this update. I know I'm getting messages from some of you that are excited about it. So... I'm not going to hate on it too bad. Actually, I am going to hate on it. It's an awful update, and you shouldn't be excited about it. You should be wanting much better things for the game. Like, uh, you know, it's fun to have balance. It's fun to, you know, back in the day when you were level 30 and you would fight a level 28, you could lose the battle if they had enough troops and they were well layered and had their buffs on and everything. Nowadays, if you're a Prestige 5 and you lose a Prestige 3, then you just, I don't know, you did a really dumb attack or something. Like, there's no reason that you should lose with a Hero March. Um, as a prestige 5 with good stats to a prestige 3. I don't care what their power is You're not gonna see any prestige 3s over maybe what 30 million 40 million power and even then if you skill hit uh, Them with buffs on a 50% march boost uh, You you should win the attack. It's that crazy. You shouldn't I don't care if you got all level ones You shouldn't lose an attack if you've got like four or five million troops against uh, 300 400 thousand troops you shouldn't lose that attack. That's just that's just stupid, but uh, to help you guys out, uh, the rundown again real quick, to get the Prestige 6, you needed a uh, Prestige 5 Depot, a Prestige 5 Market, and a Prestige 5 Wonder. And for a Prestige 5, for a Prestige 5 Wonder, you needed the Prestige 5 Walls. So hopefully you guys got a lot of those things already started, so that way it's going to be a little, you know, less hard on you. I don't think the Prestige 6 is what you guys are going to need to worry about, especially those of you that have all those badges. I think it's those Prestige 6 troops that where you have to upgrade the skills um, 50 times to get them maxed out. That's where it's going to become like a, you know, a, a crazy battle at the top where people are trying to get them maxed out skills. Because you're going to see max Prestige 5s against max Prestige 5s, but some are going to have Prestige 6 troops with say level 40 uh, out of 50 skills and some are going to have level 30 out of 50 skills so that's going to be that little bit of uh, edge that's going to make them win the battle so that's how it's going to be at the top uh, most of us we don't really need to worry about all that we'll be lucky to even get the prestige 6 let alone the prestige 6 troops so hopefully we can fix all this guys i really need some more support on it let me know in the comment section down below what you have done to help this break the wings movement so thank you guys so much for watching to make sure smash that thumbs up button i'll see you guys in tomorrow's video and i'm doing a live stream peace